Friends, as you have already watched animated text, lines and location pins in the map, we are going to create exactly the same animations using Keynote only. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I publish weekly tutorials on photography, editing and tech. Anyways, without any further delay, let's get on with today's tutorial. As you can see, I have already created a slide. Now we go to format menu and then change the background color. I am going with color fill but if you want you can apply gradient fill, advanced gradient fill, image fill or advanced image fill according to your own preference. Now I am going to import a map. For this tutorial I have downloaded this world map from online. You can download similar maps from freebacktomap.com. For general use, you can download the free version. You also can consider purchasing for any commercial use. You might not find the backdrop maps you need for your work since most of the websites offer the regional and countries map. In that case, I'm going to show you an alternative how you can create your own backdrop map from Google Map in Keynote. Please find the right area in Google Map according to your preference and take a screenshot if you want to create your own vector map. Now I am creating a new layer which we are going to use to create a vector map. Although we are not using this map for today's tutorial, however you would learn how you can do that. Now I am importing the screenshot of the Google Map in this slide. Zooming out the map since I am going to create a vector of the highlighted middle part. Go to the shape menu and take the pen tool from there. Now we are drawing a line along the border of the area which we want to use for creating a vector map. Double click to finish the line. Right click on the image and select cut. Perfect, we have got the selected area only. Now we can change the border style and change the fill color as well. Or we just can use the line. You can use a different image style uh, from the menu to design your um, vector map. We also can use shadows to bring a natural look. Now we align the map in the center. Friends, this is how you can create your own vector map. As I have mentioned earlier, we are going to work on world map for today's tutorial. So let's return to the previous slide. We are going to change the color of this map to dark gray but first we crop the image using mask tool and then we use instant alpha to remove the white background of the map and make it transparent please take time if you want to remove the background of the details but I'm just removing the background roughly for now. Now we desaturate the image and also adjust the exposure value.
We also can adjust the size of the map since we need some space around it for adding text later. Now we position this image in the center. Now we can change the style of the map. I am actually going to use a style with outline and will adjust the line size as well. And then I am going to add shadows to bring a natural look to the map. Let's decrease the borderline value to 2. Right, we have got our map. Now we need to add other elements and animate them. I'm zooming out the map a bit. So first I'm going to lock this image so that we can work smoothly on the image and background. Now we search for a location pin in the shape menu. We adjust the size and position of the pin. Zooming out the slide for a closer look. Now we change the color of the pin. Right now we add a small white circle on the pin. To do that go to the shape menu and grab the simple circle. Adjust the size and place it over the green circle in the pin. Now select both objects and make a group. Now we draw a line from the pin to where text will pop up. I am using guide line to draw the line accurately. If you do not see the ruler and guideline, you can activate them by going to the view menu. Okay, now we take the pen tool and draw the line. We change the color of the line to green and adjust the line size as well. Now we add text beside the line.
we add heading and subheading here. We can change the font, color and size under the style menu. Now we add a subheading and adjust the color, size and font similarly. We do not need the ruler and guides anymore so I am hiding them. So now we are going to animate the elements. We select our first element location pin and go to the animate menu here. Select the fade and scale animation and adjust the duration and scale. And then we select line draw animation for the line and decrease the duration to one second. Group the heading and subheading. Go to the animation menu again and select cube for this element. Decrease the duration to 0.8 second and uncheck the bounce option here. Right now I'm going to select all the elements to copy and paste. Now we position the additional set of elements. Similarly, we copy and paste the elements and position them according to our preference. Copy and paste again. Position the elements. Now we need to flip the line. Select the line and go to the Arrange menu and then select Flip horizontally. Now we position and adjust the line. Place the text beside the line. We follow the same process to add a couple of more sets of location pins, lines and text in the map. Now we go to the build order option and check the order of the elements one by one. Please make sure that the pin group should be in the first place, line second and text group third for each location.
now select all the elements and then select after the previous build option here right we are done now we can play it I think it looks good. Friends, please feel free to share your feedback. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.